The big story at the NFL Combines in Indy, and Thursday was the first day they started to work out. The big story off the field, the Chicago Bears have announced they're putting the number one pick up for trade. They, of course, have the quarterback, Justin Fields. They force-fed him. They think he's a dynamic athlete. They think he is kind of like Jalen Hurts. They have to polish his passing game. He does run the ball very well also gets banged up. However, they're not taking a quarterback at number one in Chicago. This is going to set off a bidding war because there are at least six NFL clubs that don't have quarterbacks. And that, that starts with Houston at number two. So Houston has to be anxious. Does somebody jump ahead of us and take the quarterback that we want? I mean, the top two quarterbacks are Bryce Young of Alabama and C.J. Stroud of Ohio State. There are some other quarterbacks a little bit farther back. So Houston's got to be a little bothered by this because somebody might jump ahead of them and take their guy. So does Chicago drop back one spot? I think Chicago really wants Will Anderson, the great linebacker from Alabama, with their top pick. Would they flip-flop with Houston, let Houston take what they want? Would they find another buyer? and maybe trade back another spot, let another buyer get the other quarterback on the board, and they still get Will Anderson or maybe the big Georgia defensive tackle. So that's where Chicago is right now. They're fielding phone calls, and who knows what the price would be. I mean, if if they were to flip with Houston, if they go from one down to two, Houston goes up a slot, Houston maybe has to give them a third-round pick. Then if they go from two down to three, Maybe the same thing. They get somebody else's number one. Maybe they get a a later number one or another second-round pick there. So they've got a chance to stockpile some draft currency here without dropping too far down the board. If that's the guy, the Alabama guy, that's the guy that they want. Uh, the, the, The guys that need quarterbacks are Houston at two, the Colts at four. Seattle just announced they're in the running for a young quarterback, even though they're trying to negotiate to keep Geno Smith. So Seattle is sitting there at number five. The Raiders don't have a quarterback. They have the seventh pick. Then you got Carolina at nine that has nobody on the roster that can throw the football right now. And Tennessee and the New York Jets are sitting there 11 and 13, and they're in the middle of transitioning to try to find somebody different than the quarterbacks that they've currently got. This, to me, this is just going to be a fascinating story. Yeah, so let's say you're the GM of the Panthers. Would you be better off like trading a boatload of guys to move up to that number one spot, or do you just go out and sign Derek Carr or uh, Jimmy Garoppolo? Well, they met with Derek Carr last night. Carolina did at the NFL Combine. That, that's a tough call because for them to go from nine up into one or two, you're going to pay a fair amount. Now, granted, they got a fair amount when they traded Christian McCaffrey to the 49ers, but they made that deal so they could have assets to go get multiples and multiples and multiples of players because their roster is rather threadbare. That's a a great point that you raise about what about somebody further back, how much you're willing to pay. Mm -hmm. Uh, If I'm Frank Reich, and I think Derek Carr still got miles left on those tires, I think if I could sign Derek Carr, a decent cap number, but if I can sign him and I keep all these picks that we that we brought into the pot and then just fix that roster around Derek Carr, that's the direction I would go. I don't know what the Jets are doing. You know, the Jets spent a number one on Zach Wilson. Then they spent another pick on a higher pick on Mike White, kid out of Western Kentucky. And they're still talking to Derek Carr. They've had two meetings with him. The Green Bay Aaron Rodgers rumor is still out there. I don't know what the Jets are doing. If you were to get Carr, what do you do with the other two kid quarterbacks that you drafted and and paid money to? Or if you're going to give the house away to get Aaron Rodgers, what are you doing with Zach Wilson? What are you doing uh, with with the the other quarterback, Mike White? So fascinating to see who these clubs are kind of position themselves into a tough, tough situation. Yeah, I I think if you're one of those teams that's in the middle, you know, that's maybe the 15th pick or whatever, you just need to get assets, right? You need to get as many you know, top draft picks as you can. So I, I like the idea of, in some of these cases, of teams trading back if they already have a guy in that spot. Now, granted, the Bears are in the number one spot. If they really believe Justin Fields is their guy, then yeah, trade back, get some linebackers, get some O-linemen, and, and move forward. On we go. 